In this video, I'll explain three unities of drama. Let's start. Classical Greek and Latin dramas were strict in form. The concept of the three unities about classical music. Drama derives from Aristotle's poetics but not directly. Formulated by the Greek philosopher, he barely states that a tragedy should have unity of action. There are three types of unities in drama. One unity of time, two unity of place, three unity of action. Unity of time. The action of the play should take place in a short interval chronology, ideally, no more than 24 hours. The neoclassicists believe that the spectators would not believe in the reality of an action that compressed several days or years into a three-hour drama. If the spectators did not believe in the reality of action, the tragedy would not have its proper effect. Unity of place. It was said that in drama there should be no change of place and even if the scene changes it must not be too great distance. A public square courtyard would usually serve this purpose well. But the palaces of the Elizabethans incorporate scenes of various places and action and their place moves from one city to another city, from one country of another. Unity of action. It is the unity of action which makes the plot intelligible, coherent, and individual. The events and incidents are connected logically and inevitably to the principle of probability. They move towards a common goal, the catastrophe, aimed at by the dramatist. The plot must have a beginning, a middle, and an end.